now it's your boy Trey. We're gonna get into Boston versus Miami game seven, bro. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I obviously know Miami won, but I just wanna um, react to the highlights for y'all because um, I didn't really get to see a lot of it. But man, all I wanna say is, bro, where that Jimmy hate at now? He showed, he, Jimmy showed up when it mattered. In game six, he scored 15 in the fourth quarter. He did everything he was supposed to do for him to win. But, you know, they lost at the buzzer. Today, I think he hooped. So, we're going to see what's up, though, man. I know um, Caleb Martin has really, really been hooping for Miami. So, hopefully, he did that in this game, too. Let's get into the video. Replay center, Curtis Blair. And away we go, off the line. 16 for 52. I don't know I've ever seen that before. Yeah, but there was no hesitation on Butler's shot right there. He was hesitating in game six. The play of his I was saying, bro, Bam has to have a good game if Miami wants to win. Like, even in the finals when they play Denver, like, Bam has to play good every game for him to win. He has to be consistent. Like, Bam has been really inconsistent. Oh, nice. Make him off the dribble. Celtics have the second best record in the regular season of the NBA. Struce, a three point specialist. Who drives that baseline? That's a mixer. Outside three, Struce. Caught inside Martin Miller. Second time is up and in. Hasn't had a game under 14 points. Probably has been the Heat's best player in this series. Smart threats a pass to Trevor. Some of their nine rotation players have been in an NBA Finals. One of them is Kevin Love. He brought the attitude today to shoot around. Normally a very mild-mannered guy. He was screaming, jumping. The remains. Brown on the floor. Look at the space that Williams has given him. Butler off the block. And she into the paint. Lowry leads it the other round. Transition, Martin. Three. Good. I agree with you, coach. You know, Caleb Martin is such a problem, bro. Like, bro, he's he's gonna get paid when his contract gets up with the Heat. Like, bro was hooping this series, like hooping. Hey, look, he's alive here for Boston. Williams has not missed a shot in this series at home. Butler, the hesitation and the drive inside, bursting for two. Well, and there's now gone three of nine from the floor. Lowry quickly the other way. And there's Good feed, good finish. Half Tatum's got it. Shot clock at five. Oh, it's not to by Smith against the steal. Two on one with Vincent Icemith. The try to finish it does. Terrific transition. It is two of the last 19 shooting. And they're four of their last 39 over the last four plus quarters. Celtics haven't been able to stop the heat at all so far. Lowry with a three. There's been no hesitation. And we can't stress enough, Tatum's only one field goal attempt here. entire playoffs like every time they've led by a lot they have not lost 
So they're they're already up in the second quarter. I'm sure they kept the lead the entire game. Got a lot of money in this series is what he's doing. Yes, yeah, he for the Celtics. His activity on, on the offensive glass. Huge. Martin Rams is ready for another two. Halfway 14 points and five rebounds mm -hmm. leading mm -hmm. the Heat in both categories. He's back in that zone. Jason Tatum sprained his ankle in the first quarter. Start with three. Defended by Vincent. Their attention to detail defensively. He said, we can't let our shot making affect our physicality and our defensive effort. Against the Zen, we have to make quicker passes. And two opportunity, two for two from long distance for Butler here. You can see in game seven since 1955, that shot will go through. Oh, my God, I'm not having a good First, they've got to find a way to stop the heat team. Walking inside, creeping for two is Vincent. I think if Gabe Vincent wouldn't have missed that one game, Miami might have already won because he's a huge part of their team. Like, he's a huge part. Like, without him, they wouldn't even be here. They would. Got a right ankle or a leg. Time to set, man. Three up guys for three. Miami, contorting in mid-flight, getting it to Jamie, 
and they've been short spurts. Robinson from Autobio, great pass, terrific cut, timeout, ball. A lot of minutes early on, but look how valuable he's been in the playoffs with the injuries. Good point. A terrific player in the series. Hounded here by Smart. Knocked away. Brown got it. Marcus will finish at the other end. And a timeout taken. Adebayo with 10 rebounds and 10 points. Horford stands in his way. Three and a half to go. Inside. Butler! Will flush. Here's That's all, man. That's it, man. History. And they did not blink. So Miami is the second eighth seed in NBA history to go to the NBA Finals. It's crazy, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. The Finals, man, it's gonna be... I'm excited because I think it can be really good. Like, the two teams that play the right way made it to the Finals. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. Like, I feel like... I feel like it's gonna be a great NBA Finals really great y'all let me know i know y'all probably gonna say the nuggets gonna win pretty easy but um let me know who y'all think gonna win down below man um i'm obviously going for miami i've been going for miami since the playoffs started so if they can find a way to shut down the joker they got a chance if they don't shut down the joker it's probably it's not gonna be a not gonna be a good series like that, but uh they might be able to figure it out. They might not, man. But either way, they had a historic season. So yeah, let me know what y'all think down below, man. I hit that like and sub button. I'm gonna see y'all game one. See y'all game one.